guys, welcome back to Kumasawa Reviews. We're taking a look at yet another Kotobukaya Mega Man model kit. So this character is from Mega Man X. This is Zero. So, of course, he comes with a box, but I threw the box away a while ago. I don't know why. Impulsive thinking. Just wanted junk out of my house. Should have thought about the review first. So, no box for this review. Do got the instructions here. He comes with a variety of hands. This is a 316 um, LED battery light. I'll show you where... That comes into play in a bit. Uh, two alternate faces, his buster, a couple of blade effects pieces, his um, hilt is actually on his back as part of the model. He built that. An alternate sword handle, as well as some effects that go at the uh, base of the sword itself. So, yeah, let's take a look at the measurement on this guy, though. Mega Man X and Mega Man X full armor, they are approximately five and a quarter inches tall where zero is about five and a half five and a half on the dot actually so he's about a quarter inch taller than both Mega Man X and Mega Man X full armor all right let's go ahead and get started looking at this again five and a half inches tall for zero give you guys a roundabout here Unfortunately, that hair piece is one piece, so it is pretty big, very lightweight, so no worry about weighing down, breakage, anything like that. But just in terms of placement, I wish there was at least two pieces so you could do something with having part of the hair one way, part of the hair another way, or just a thinner alternate um, ponytail or something like that as well, you know. But let's start with the articulation. So look at the hair. There is an up and down tilt there. Um, this piece can move up and down as well the best it can and it also is a ball joint so there is some side to side movement as well as the ability to swing back and forth okay now the head both the neck and where the neck meets the clavicle ball joints so hair aside it can 360 move side to side up down with both the neck and the chin all right so butterfly joints on this guy the shoulder armor can move you know up and down it is pegged onto the shoulder itself all right so parallel well above parallel that outward swing and then of course the roundabout there and again butterfly joints really cool it has both swivel at the bicep and the elbow elbow joint all right single joint but goes past 45 degrees all right the forearm swivels as well there is some rock at the wrist there are like ball joints inside of it not a ton of rock though but of course can swivel 360 okay make sure to get this right all right so ball joint we're at the waist ball joint where the chest meets the waist area so all right doesn't really have swivel in the waist itself the swivel about 45 degrees either way is going to be at the upper torso all right so letting you guys look at the back bend all right as well as the ab crunch it does have a decent amount of ab crunch unlike the mega man this one actually has some forward ab movement in both the waist and the upper torso now as for the thighs he does have the drop thighs on both sides give some more room for articulation there but outward forward swing not crazy much even drop down not a ton oh, pop that back on back and the ball joints on the torso they don't do that like kind of click in thing i wish they did but i'm sure it's to prevent breakage too but yeah just a little bit tighter there and the sword it just the hilt comes off we'll look at the sword in a little bit though all right so we are at the ankles outwards and it can like move back and forth there too to give you some more room we looked at the side to side tilt now the forward to back swing so there's the articulation on this guy. Instead of just immediately getting him into poses and stuff like that, I want to go ahead and look at the gimmicks on this guy because he's pretty loaded in comparison to um, either Mega Man X. If I can get him on solid feet here, Jesus. 
This one flat footed. There we go. So starting to look at gimmicks, his face changing gimmick. It's a bit more involved than the Mega Man X figures, whether it's armored or unarmored, full armored or unarmored Mega Man. So for him, you actually have to push the front of the face mask off. Let's see if I can do this without any tools. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. So let's see if we can get something quick to kind of pry this forward. Pull the hair off to make it easier. And then, okay. And even for that, um, the entire sides of the mask pulled off and yeah, it's just pretty messy. But we'll go ahead and trade out one of the faces here. So it's as easy as popping it back in and I am going to off camera reassemble his mask. Okay, and that's his yelling face. Everybody has their, you know, preferences, bias, etc. But there's no telling me personally that that's not an absolute pain in the ass to change the faces up. So I wish there was something where they kind of just slipped in and under like Mega Man, but it's what it is. I mean, on the flip side, it's a lot more secure, but again, just a lot more hassle to uh, change out. All right, so let's try this again with his, I guess it's kind of like an angry gritting face. So we're gonna try to brace it a little bit better, use my fingernail in here to push this forward, see if I can't slide it out carefully. Okay, so it's just kind of finding that sweet spot there to nudge it out and making sure not to press the mask, unfortunately, all the way in because I didn't press it in too hard with the last face swap. But getting this changed out, okay. There we go. And I guess I could go back and edit that first face swap, but why? I mean, if I experienced it, it means a good number of pe other people are going to experience it. So why pretend like it doesn't happen? Right. Now consider that angry face, gritting teeth. Zero, of course, does come with his buster that can be attached on either arm. Let's go ahead and swatch it out with his left arm. Right. On the right side, and it just pegs in. Pretty simple. I remember his blaster post from the games was kind of a tilt. Drop the ankle down as much as I can. There we go. I dig it. All right, so definitely went bigger with this one. Uh, if you notice, his hair is different. It's a windswept piece. It actually comes with the Nightmare Zero model kit. So you have to have both in order to get that hair set for zero. Now, I don't know, an even more large and obtrusive hairstyle for this uh, Zero kit isn't exactly a selling point to me, but it's definitely different. So I wish the uh, Nightmare version actually came with this one as well. And we'll go over the Nightmare Zero kit too, but yeah. All right, but just a cool pose. Windswept hair, windswept uh, blade. Yeah, I dig it. All right, and for the sake of knocking out comparison, so here he is next to Nightmare Zero. Again, Nightmare Zero also comes with the windswept style hair for regular Zero. 
Alright, make sure this is off to the side. I actually prefer the less obtrusive, but still obtrusive, here on regular zero. Alright, and besides the hair, the only difference between the two kits is a uh, palette swap, so, yeah. Okay, and here he is next to both uh, full armored and unarmored Mega Man X. Alright, even this out a little bit. You guys are roundabout. Aesthetically, Kodo knocked this out of the park. I mean, Mega Man X has probably never gotten this kind of love in terms of fully articulated figures, in my opinion. So I've owned the D-Arts, I've owned the True Force Collectibles, the Sentinel Ryabout, which is basically a reshell of the True Force Collectibles. Uh, the Sentinel 4-Inch Nell is probably the best Mega Man X figure ever, but in terms of just giving love to the Mega Man X line, it... This is just something to see. It's really special. I know it's model kits and stuff like that, but I mean, goddamn. They knocked it out of the park. All right, so final thoughts on Kotobukaya's Mega Man X Zero model kit. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The one and only gripe I have is with the hair piece. Uh, it's not that it doesn't look good. It's hollow. And also, it's only one piece, so there's not a lot of wiggle room in terms of space and whatnot. With this hair piece, the um, one, the windswept hair, again, that comes with Nightmare Zero, even worse. So I wish they could have made that at least two parts, just to give it some wiggle room. Or, just done like the D-Arts Zero, and added a really thin ponytail that's not extended flaring at all. Just for the sake of space and display and stuff like that. I personally display him and X inside of my PC case. So, you know, the hair and stuff like that. You got to watch out for fans, AIO cables, etc, etc. I got to show you guys a video of that too. But anyway, highly recommend this kit. It's sold out everywhere. So buy it while, I mean, buy it now. Because the price is only going to go up. And right now it's selling for about 120 to I think the MSRP was like 60, 70 bucks. So not too crazy far off, but at the same time, this is the absolute best zero fully articulated figure that you're gonna get. This has been another Kumasawa review. Check out the full written review and gallery on kumasawa.com. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.